Richard E. Grant has shared footage of himself preparing for his role in Everybody's Talking About Jamie, the premiere of which he attended on Monday night. Taking to Twitter on Tuesday, the actor, who plays drag queen Loco Chanel in the new movie based on the West End hit, could be seen attempting to walk in heels for the first time while his late wife Joan commentated. In an accompanying caption Richard, 64, explained Joan, who passed away this month aged 71, had not only been his vocal coach for the film, but had also taught him to walk in high heels. The award-winning actor wrote, Notes from my beloved late wife. Prancing around in his kitchen, the star took to the footwear with ease, even performing a squat while shouting, Madonna. Joan could be heard saying, do a small tap, before her husband starts to shuffle his feet around. Richard and Joan's daughter Olivia, 32, can also be heard as she quipped, it's like Miss Piggy. Alongside the video, Richard wrote in full, first attempt in six heels with instructions and notes from my beloved late wife Joan who coached my Sheffield accent to play Loco Chanel in a Jamie movie. Way beyond my comfort zone. Attending the premiere tonight with our daughter at Olivia granted in her honor. Richard put on a brave face while walking the film's red carpet in London on Monday. He stars as drag queen Loco Chanel in the new movie which sees the lead character embark on a journey of self-discovery that eventually leads to him attending his high school prom in drag. Richard's outing came shortly after he thanked well-wishers for their support, as he said grief had hit him like a tsunami after losing his wife. He shared a montage of family photos on Twitter earlier this month with the message, Overwhelmed by the messages of love, condolence and support we have received from loved ones and strangers from all over the world and the appreciation from actors Joan taught over the years. Grief hits us like tsunamis as we try and put one foot in front of the other without her. Joan, a voice coach from Aberdeen, met Grant at the start of his career in 1986 and the pair have been together ever since. The With Nail and I star revealed Joan passed away this month in an emotional tribute that included a video of the pair dancing together and laughing before they embraced along to the song Only You by The Platters. Richard wrote, Only You. Joan, love of my life and giver of life to our daughter Olivia. Our hearts are broken with the loss of your life last night. 35 years married and 38 together. To be truly known and seen by you, is your immeasurable gift. Do not forget us, sweet monkey mine. The pair had overcome tragedy in their life and spoke publicly about how their first child together sadly died after just half an hour. Joan had suffered multiple miscarriages but had been determined they would keep trying after seeing how good her husband had been with her son from a previous relationship Tom. Then in 1989 she fell pregnant with daughter Olivia after telling him fatherhood suits you. You're very good at it. Emotional, Richard thanked well-wishers for their support after the death of his wife Joan at the age of 71, as he said grief had hit him like a tsunami Richard is also stepfather to Tom, 44, from Joan's previous marriage. Washington, from Aberdeen, trained at the Central School of Speech and Drama and had nearly 40 years experience in the film industry as a voice and dialect coach, working with stars including Anne Hathaway, Vanessa Redgrave, and Emma Stone. Among her early projects in the mid-80s were Yentl starring Barbara Streisand, Highlander, and The Bounty, featuring Mel Gibson and Sir Anthony Hopkins. Recent years saw her work on features such as The Witches, where she coached Hathaway for the part of the Grand High Witch, and Yorgos Lanthimos' black comedy The Favorite, where she worked with Stone. Touching, Joan, 
daughter Olivia Grant and Richard E. Grant smile happily This family picture taken back in 2007 inches a joint interview with The Independent in 2011, Grant recalled them meeting for the first time. He said, I met her at the Actors Centre in London. She was wearing a boiler suit and had fairly short, cropped hair and kicker shoes, and was chain-smoking, which I thought was insane. She was teaching an accent session with a bunch of actors, and I thought she had the most wonderful voice and huge, sort of monkey eyes. She seemed fairly frenetic. I thought that she was really cute and all that. It was December 1982. Mr. and Mrs. Richard and Joan are pictured on their wedding day 35 years ago in a snap posted by the actor to mark their anniversary comedian Sarah Millican, Don French and David Baddiel were among those sending messages of support, along with actress Eva Pope. Nigella Lawson said, what a wonderful woman Joan Washington was. And how devastating to have to say was. My heart's broken for Richard E. Grant and Olivia. May her memory be a blessing. Jessica Chastain said, My heart is broken. Joan Washington had such a profound impact on me, yes as an artist, but mostly as a woman. I've looked toward her. Her strive towards excellence made her the celebrated dialect coach she was. Happy, last year Richard posted pictures of the pair celebrating their 34st wedding anniversary on his social media pages, 